good afternoon everyone so today is the third day of our presentation season 2 so on the third day of presentation season 2 i am going to present my presentation on hemingway's iceberg theory so this topic is very vast to present in one presentation so i choose this topic because uh, 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 because my understanding is this like uh, you have to be uh, more uh, careful about how this theory works and how hemingway used this theory in his writing this is my personal information a uh, points to ponder introduction of author and about his theory the iceberg theory uh, what is hemingway's iceberg theory hemingway's old man and the iceberg conclusion Uh, let's start with the first topic introduction of the novelist as we know that uh, uh, ernest miller hemingway was an american novelist short story writer and journalist his uh, economical and uh, understand style uh, which includes his iceberg theory uh, had a strong influence on 20th century fiction uh, while uh, his adventurous lifestyle and public image brought him admiration from a later generation like uh, we also use this iceberg theory uh, in classroom like uh, uh, in our department we have this iceberg theory in this corner also like cultural iceberg and uh, other iceberg also there so uh, the iceberg theory or theory of omission is a writing technique coined by american writer ernest hemingway as a young journalist hemingway had to focus his newspaper reports on immediate events with very little context or interpretation so iceberg theory is uh, a very uh, as i also mentioned that iceberg theory is very vast theory to understand when he became a writer of short story he retailed uh, at this minimalistic style focusing on surface element with the explicit uh, discussion underlying themes so hemingway believed the deeper meaning of a story should not be vi uh, vivid on the surface but should shine through implicitities the iceberg theory the iceberg theory also known as the theory of omissions is a style of writing coined by uh, as i also mentioned that uh, ernest hemingway was coined this uh, uh, theory the theory is so named because just as only a small part of an iceberg is uh, visible above water high uh, hemingway story presented only a small part of what was actually happened so alternatively speaking ernest hemingway's iceberg theory is his strategy of fiction writing uh, in his uh, uh, most famous work uh, the old man and the sea he also used this theory the large pr uh, percentage of iceberg is under water so in next slide i will show you the picture of the iceberg theory so here is the picture of the iceberg so on the surface what the reader sees is there like narrative and plot and dialogues and under the water implies elements like thoughts feelings motive and symbolization so this theory works in a way like amanda hedled explained in her article the iceberg theory of writing it's it is her article in that she mentioned ernest hemingway coined this theory when he determined that by omitting a uh, omitting part of a story detailed that the writer and reader both inherently knows the story's prose will the shortened and strengthened so om omitting part is also like a uh, definition of omitting is uh, uh, something which is not showing on the surface he believed that writing in this fashion forms a strong bond with the reader because the author has confident that the reader is knowledgeable and intuitive enough to pick up on the pieces that were omitted so uh, uh, iceberg theory has uh, many uh, uh, like uh, loop holes also like uh, uh, if readers are not more e uh, imaginative or not understand the purpose of writer it will fail uh, it will may fail also what is hemingway's iceberg theory so now uh, i will tell you uh, like uh, britain pulham uh, explain about the things about iceberg is there is always more hidden beneath the surface 
Hemingway's iceberg theory centered on the idea that there is always more to story than what the reader or a viewer sees in a death in the afternoon. So this is a non-fictional work of uh, Hemingway in the death in the afternoon. Uh, Hemingway wrote, uh, I quote, if a writer of prose knows enough of what he is writing about, he may omit things that he knows and the reader, if the writer is writing truly enough, will have a feeling of those things as strongly as though the writer had stated them, I unquote. Uh, Hemingway's begin his writing career as a journalist, uh, journalist assigned to the crime beat for the Kansas uh, City Star. His article had to be purely factual, with no opinion or personal interpretation added. And Hemingway naturally brought the minimalistic style to his fictional writing. So this theory may come from his journalism and all the background of uh, Hemingway's. Because of his journalism, uh, he may coin this theory also. Uh, the iceberg theory, uh, as Hindal says, in the art of the short story, Hemingway was quoted, you could omit anything if you know that you omitted and the omitted part would strengthen the story and make people feel something more than they understand. In other words, the reader will feel a deeper connection to the story because they had to use their knowledge to understand the items that were omitted. So uh, as we know that when we uh, read something like a book, when we read that, we have to understand what uh, writer want to say or what writer want to convey through this writing uh, of uh, his novel or uh, of his uh, through his characters. Uh, this uh, in turn allows the reader to trust the author because the author knows their readers are smart enough to comprehend the work and not had every little concept spelled out in detail. So may uh, Hemingway wants to say that the reader are smart enough to understand their works. Like uh, he wants to uh, uh, say that like uh, if uh, you are uh, enough understanding the work, you are enough understand the writer. Uh, as an author plays around with your stories and understand the balance to your prose. Too much omission will leave a story weak and difficult to understand or to see the whole picture. Uh, too much detail will borrow, uh, bore or irritate the reader. The author must find the balance of perfect, of omniscient or level of omniscient uh, to keep the iceberg from inverting. Uh, Hemingway's Old Man and the Iceberg. Uh, Old Man and the Sea is very famous novel of uh, Hemingway. Uh, Robert O. Uh, Stephen explained in his article, Hemingway's Old Man and the Iceberg, when Ernest Hemingway told George Plimpton all of the Paris Review about his iceberg theory of writing, he pointed to the Old Man and the Sea as a prime example of such writing. According to the theory, I always try to write on the principle of the iceberg. There is seven, uh, seven eighths, uh, eighths of the, it under water for every part that shows. So this is the lines uh, 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 saying by, uh, or we can say explained by the Ernest Hemingway on self. The C novel in uh, uh, the uh, novel, uh, Old Man and the Sea, in uh, respect to style fits the theory Hemingway pointed out in that he knew many fishing stories, never expedited, incorporated in the tale. Knowing them gave him authority for the tale he did write. So uh, we know that uh, other stories, fishing stories are different from the Hemingway's own story. Like uh, uh, in the Hemingway's Old Man and the Sea is different from, uh, there is not uh, more focus on the fishing. There is more focus on uh, one's personality or the uh, strength of their uh, thoughts and minds and uh, their uh, bravery. All these are included in themes of the Old Man and the Sea. 
uh, but Hemingway suggests more strongly the applicability of the iceberg image of, for understanding themes when he noted, you can be sure that there is much more than will be read at any first reading. Uh, this comment is as, uh, especially meaningful when used as a way of viewing uh, themes in his work that emerge like the crest of an iceberg in his novel. Conclusion, uh, writers who utilize Hemingway's iceberg theory must embrace the ideas that they will always know more about the story the world, the characters, and there will ever be room for on the page. Like uh, uh, I also said that this uh, theory has some loops all. Like uh, if uh, one cannot imagine what a uh, writer writes, then it will be difficult to, uh, uh, to be on the same page of this iceberg theory. For leaving things off the page can often be more powerful than spilling them out. Uh, Hemingway developed the style as a result of being a journalist, a profession which required consciousness due to space restraint in a printed newspaper. Hemingway believed that the application of the iceberg theory created the perfect short story and the more detailed the right stripe away, the more powerful the story is. There, uh, here are my works cited. Thank you. Now you have any question, then you can ask me. Drashti, mm -hmm. how has the iceberg theory, how has the iceberg theory influenced other writers and uh, writing styles? Yes. Uh, so uh, iceberg theory is, uh, uh, as I mentioned in my slide, that iceberg theory used for the writer to convey that uh, beneath that uh, what he is conveys to his uh, characters and plots and stories, it is more about uh, what he says. Uh, or we can say that uh, writer wants to say that it is not the enough of you understand. You have to develop your perspective in all 360 degree. We can say that you have to uh, think in a different way uh, when we read something or when we uh, uh, always uh, see something. My question is... How does the iceberg theory relate to Hemingway's writing style? Yes. So uh, in my slide number three, you can see that like uh, uh, Hemingway write this uh, or coined this uh, theory uh, when he was professionally journalist, like uh, when he wants to uh, uh, write this short write-up of the fact for newspaper. So he's, uh, he think that, uh, my, he might think that uh, we, uh, we can say, uh, we can, uh, I can point this the uh, iceberg theory because iceberg theory has this uh, uh, ice on the top and in uh, into the uh, water, there is more uh, ice beneath like uh, as you can see in the picture of iceberg theory so writing style uh, Hemingway developed because uh, like uh, iceberg uh, it is related to uh, his work uh, the uh, old man and the sea so in this novel also he mentioned that uh, the iceberg theory as you can uh, uh, see in the novel like uh, when you read the novel you can uh, think more about it so you have to develop your perspective in a different way. So that's it about today's presentation. Thank you.